Universal Studios in Orlando has been building a brand new amusement park, Epic Universe. Construction has been trudging along for the past few years now, heading straight towards that May 23rd, 2025 opening date that they are aiming for. And as of recently, some rides have actually been testing here a full year out before they plan on opening. Yeah. They have a mock uh, spinner mm -hmm. in the dark universe that coaster has been testing and you see some footage of that. There's been some flat rides in the How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon, yeah. That, yeah. That's been testing. But just recently, what you can call the star attraction of the park just recently started testing. That was hilarious. It is hilarious. Starfall Racers just recently started testing. WESH in Orlando took their chopper, flew it right over top of Epic Universe's construction and got tons of footage of it testing. Mm. Now, we've been seeing pictures and video of this track coming together and seeing how crazy it's been. Me personally, I don't even see how you could tell how the train is supposed to go through this course. It's a big twisted mess. And I think Mach has done like a masterpiece here. Yeah. But Mach isn't really known for crazy roller coasters in the United States. Right, well, they built, they've built built some good coasters. Helix at Lisa Berg. Uh, their best coaster is probably DC Rivals, but they're really, like, they're really good coasters, but they're not quite elite coasters. They're not on the same tier as a company like Intamin is. Yeah, in the United States, they're known more for things like Copperhead Strike Down at Carowinds, which is a, a good coaster, not too forceful launches, known for a lot of hang time, not a ton of forces, not a ton of airtime, but just a good quality that's coaster. What, that's what most most Mac coasters are. They aren't super intense, but they are still good rides with some intense moments on the really good ones. And I think that people heard that Starfall Racers was going to be built by Mac and just kind of like brushed it off to the side. People were excited for it. Yeah, people were definitely excited, but it wasn't like this is going to be the greatest coaster ever like they would if a company like Intamin was doing it. Yeah, if Intamin was the manufacturer and people saw all that twisted track, the dueling top hats and stuff like that, I think people would have been going nuts and just anticipating this being like a top five coaster in the world or something like that. But because it's Mach, I think people have been like kind of reserved about it and saying like it's gonna be a great coaster but not getting too crazy. But recently with this footage coming out of the testing, this thing hauls through the track. Yeah, it, it, it really flies. So as you see, like the track you, you got, I think it's a dual launch that yeah. one of the launches is outdoors and then one is like underneath kind of. that canopy. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like the pre-launch or um, after the first launch but before the second launch. Here is the uh, second launch that goes straight into a kind of like a weird inversion and this is kind of what i wanted to talk about i think this is definitely looks like it could be one of the highlights uh of the ride because it's like um it's hard to describe it's almost like the one inversion i think it's the last inversion on copyright strike uh that is kind of like a bank turn but it's an inversion but this twists you even more like it looks very strange like this it looks like you're going into a top hat right and almost into a dive loop it's almost like kind of it's almost like what flying dinosaur which is a pnf flying coaster so it's weird to compare but it kind of does something a little bit similar to this like it's a very weird inversion so i think and it really whips you through like if you look at the train going through it It'll go up, bank, and then whatever, it boom. It, and then whenever you go down, kind of like a Mosasaurus roll almost, where you're picking up speed going down, it really looks like it's going to whip you. So that... Like really almost like the, the the 360 degree turn on a uh, downward spike, on, on the downward hill on Top Thrill Dragster, almost where you like... Right, like, yeah. Turn this straight one, into it. Yeah, but, but this, this one's an inversion. Yeah, this yeah. one's an inversion, yeah. so... Imagine being on top of Top Thrill Dragster and then going through an inversion and then twisting. But yeah, this, Obviously, you're not 420 feet in the air. But that this. just looks like a very wacky inversion. I can't really think of really anything that's quite like it. Almost looking at it at first, it almost looked like Hyperia. That little yeah. wacky 
thing that Hyperia had. Yeah, the, Mac is really doing a lot of these very wacky, crazy inversions they're doing with Hyperia, and they're doing it with Starfall Racers. So continuing on with this course, it comes down the loop. I mean, and, and you're you're flying through a lot of this. Yeah, and you go through a very tall and sharp overbank turn. Uh, you're going to go through kind of uh, overbank, and then it'll twist a very kind of max style twist. Like you'll see stuff like that on DC Rivals quite a bit. Uh, tight turn, overbank, uh, another airtime hill. There's going to be a lot of airtime. It and the and the airtime hills, it doesn't just like. It doesn't just crawl into these airtime oh, hills. Yeah, this like thing it. flies into these airtime hills. Especially like right here, you see it going over the top hat. Now this, these top hats, and only one side is testing. This is a dueling coaster and only one side is testing in the footage, obviously. But yeah, the top hat is definitely, I think maybe the thing that surprised me the most because of how fast it goes over because the top hats are shaped very strange. Because a lot of top hats are more round, this is very um, sharp. It's very sharp. It's kind of like the SNS, and uh, like with what Dota Dampa used to have, um, and Hypersonic XLC, that kind of top hat, where it's really like sharp. It's almost kind of something like that. And it's weird, because I'm comparing it to a lot of different types of coasters, because there's not really too much like this. Yeah, this is a, a very unique coaster. And I think that this is going to be... Yeah, plural, coaster, yeah. Because this will be two credits. Yeah, so... And the, the thing just hauls through. So you hit the top hat out of the... What I assume might be the first launch that is, that's covered up where you can't see the launch. I think that is the first launch. I'm not 100% sure, yeah, but... I, I, don't, I don't know. It's still hard to tell. Yeah, that is the main underground. Or no, that's like the big underground launch. So you come down and then... And then that's where you go into... Oh, never mind. That's where you go into kind of like a dive loop kind of thing. Yeah. And then another... Like, that's all... That that was borderline another top hat. And it just... That like, was a, it, just an airtime hill. And then airtime hill, airtime hill, airtime hill, <laughs> airtime hill. The back row looks like it's just going to be... Like, that series of airtime hills right there looks like you're just going to... If you're in the back row on that, it just looks like you're going to get like... That looks like ejector. It just looks like pop, pop, pop. It just looks like you're going to constantly be thrown out of your seat, like on every single one of those. It does look like it kind of slows down towards the end. So that last little bunny hill or airtime hill or whatever might not get it quite as much as now, the other now ones. Also, um, something to keep in mind, this is very early, 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 early testing. Nobody on it, so it will be going slower than what it would be when people are riding it. But it's still a, it's still gonna be Yeah, we're not we're not this. sure exactly how how fast, but I think there are dummies in this. I I didn't see any. There are no dummies in it? Um uh, maybe there are. Yeah, I think there are. I don't know. Yeah, I think there are. So that's where you go into the second launch and into that very wacky inversion. Yes. Yeah, so uh an inversion going downhill just like it is is crazy i think it's almost like uh let's compare it to another coaster the Mo mosasaurus roll on iron guazi where you're going the down death roll. The, oh yeah the death roll wrong florida inversion whatever <laughs> all florida inversions are the same inversions no they <laughs> but the death roll on iron guazi where you're going like basically downhill and you go through the inversion and you're just going through some crazy speed but this layout just looks insane Maybe that second launch isn't crazy, but that first launch has to be like pretty like forceful because it, it takes you up it a does. pretty nice time. This is a Mac Sorry. launch, and one thing that Mac is known for is having the most forceless launches imaginable. Even the good rides like Helix at Lisaberg have very forceless launches, and they're really meant to get you up to speed without actually being like a thrill. You're just kind of gliding on straight track. So I hope that these launches will be more intimate LSM style or they're more um, punchy. Yeah, that would that would be great. I mean, if, if these had punchy, forceful launches on this, at least the first one, then I think that catapults this like, oh, absolutely. up, up that, the rankings. And Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing to really look out for is when you ride it. See how those launches feel. I just think it's crazy that 
like even though yes people have been talking about this people have been excited for this but i just don't see quite the hype that it would be getting if it was done from another company like intimate or something like that. No. Well, intimate i think is like yeah yeah the other company that would do it but watching this off-ride footage and if the ride runs as fast as it is in this video right here that we just watched well, it would run faster than this. Yeah, well, faster or whatever, if it runs even yeah, faster. As, if it runs right. as fast or faster than this, do you think it could take over as the best ride in Florida? You have, right now, it's between Velocicoaster and Iron Gwazi, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Iron Gwazi, not quite meeting I my, think, yeah. like, I, I think Velocicoaster a little bit better. I think Velocicoaster is slightly better than Iron Gwazi, but they're very, very, very close. But does this one jump those two and take over Florida? I say no. Oh, no. No, this will not, mm -hmm. the, no, I don't think this will be as good as Velocicoaster. I don't think it will be as good as Iron Gwazi. Will this be the third best coaster in Florida? Probably. Would, well, what else besides Mako or Mako, uh, Hagrid's Mind Blower, maybe? Yeah, mind um, blower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I think this will probably be the third best, but I don't see it being number one. Okay, my opinion is that I think this might jump up to number two. I All think. Right. See, I like Iron Gwazi a lot more than you do. You love Iron Gwazi, but it seems like you're a little more down on it than a lot of people are because a lot of people say it's the best coaster in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm not down on it. I thought it was great, especially if you ride it later in the afternoon or in the evening, whenever it starts to really warm up. If you ride it in the morning, it's a little, like, not not so hot. It's just slower. But, yeah. Which so, is the same way for like Steel Vengeance and some other coasters. Yeah, but if you ride it later after it's warmed up, then it's a great coaster. Great inversions. Pacing yeah, is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely think it's a great coaster. I just think it it's short. I don't I, I think, don't think the end short. I think the end is pretty abrupt. I don't think it's abrupt. I am disagreeing with that. Okay, all well then go ahead and disagree with But I, I don't I just don't see this being better than Iron Gwazi. I think Iron Gwazi is just too good and this will be a really, really good coaster. I don't know if I think this will be an elite coaster. <laughs> will this be a top ten coaster in the world? I just don't think so. I, I think it'll be close. I my expectations for this ride has shot up tremendously. I can't wait to ride this I thing. Can't, I definitely, I'm yeah, definitely, can't definitely looking to forward it. to this. Can't wait to ride it. But between this and Iron Gwazi and Velocicoaster and Mako, I, I think Mind Blower and there's so many good. I think Florida is finally becoming like a true because uh, okay, I finished my thought. A true coaster state because before they were in a theme park state. They were a theme park. Because obviously you have Disney and Universal, but now they're adding more elite coasters. And, you know, they have Tron, too. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, like Disney, added a couple of really good coasters. So, yeah, I, I think Florida, after this, is it the best U.S. state for roller coasters? I still say nah. I think it probably is. I don't know how you... We disagree on everything. I don't, I don't know. know how you can say that it isn't. Like, what would be above it? Ohio. No, I, no, uh, no, I disagree with that. Ohio's got two really good Steel parts, Vengeance, and that's it. Steel Vengeance with Maverick, Top Thrill 2, Millennium, Diamondback, yeah, that's great. I Mystic Timbers. Still number one. <laughs> All right. Well, no one listened to him because he's wacky. But let us know what you guys think. Settle this debate in the comments section. Will this be Let's the hear. best coaster in the world? Will it be top 20 will it be what do you think about battle it, it out in the comment section we want to hear from every single person that watches this video yeah tell me we what, want to see your guys you guys' opinions so that is it for this video thank you guys for watching appreciate it if you liked this video you know what to do go ahead and give it that thumbs up and if you enjoyed it enough where you feel like subscribing go ahead and do that because it helps us out a ton we really enjoy whenever we look and say, hey, look, we got new subscribers. Yeah, that's and great. And you could be that person to bring a smile to our face by subscribing. We do all sorts of roller coaster and amusement park content. So if that's what you're into, then you would definitely enjoy subscribing. And if you want to go one step above subscribing, you can be like one of these wonderful people right here. They joined our channel membership page. 
There's a link down in the description. You can check it out. There's one of two tiers that you can join. And with that, you get things like exclusive videos, shout outs, pictures, stuff like that. And we do different community posts, all sorts of great benefits, and it helps out the channel tremendously more than we can even express. So thank you to all our channel members. You guys are the backbone of this channel. So that's it for this video. Any last words for the people? No, like, that is it. subscribe. That's about it. All right, we'll see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios. See ya.